I mean, like I said, we're a game and a half up. Hey, Aiden Nix, how are you doing? Is our schedule getting any easier? Oh, we have the Streamliners. They're first place in their division. And the Moonstars are doing well. And then we have the Nemesis. Ah. Oh. Welcome aboard. Aiden, thanks for that follow. I appreciate that. Man, I do want to play this game tonight. I get to work from home tomorrow, so I think I'm going to do that. Let's... Gotta go back to our Let's go with that. We're doing well. <clears throat> I'd like to win this game to get, so we can finish three and three tonight on games. Let's do that. Oh, let's see. Reaver's still down, though. I really think we need him in there defense-wise. I mean, I could play short. Let's put Ballas back in. <clears throat> Everybody else looks okay. Like I said, <clears throat> we have our best pitcher on the mound. We're playing the best team in the league. <clears throat> we have no excuses if we lose this. No excuses whatsoever. Cockatoos and the Larry Ballers. Oh my god, look at their lineup. Knight, Butts, Flail, McMaster, Giganosaurus. <laughs> Who has the last name? Roman Flail. I want to think that that's Roman Reigns in disguise. Shiny Knights, Theodore, the Theodoro Butts, and Roman Flail. Now batting, number 31, the capture. Shining Knight batting 290 leads us off. Or leads them off. Hold on that pitch. Maybe you've heard of me. My name is Sir James. I've come to pitch. Got her! Strikeout number one for Sir James. That's what we need to see from him tonight. Now batting, number 21. The They're all locked in. It's so scary. That's a bad pitch. He was full though. Uh oh. Is there? Couldn't get to it. That's a bad pitch. Oh, he should have took that one out of the park. Oh, come on, Ump! Roman Flail steps up. 293 average, one out, one runner on first. Got him. See, it counted that time. Breakout number two for Southpaw. Number six, the right fielder. Oh, that is crushed. That is going to be a base hit the right field. Why so slow? Fields it. So two on, two outs here in the top of the first for the Cockatoos. And that brings up Jerome Gigantosaurus. Oh, and he's going to hit a dribbler. Lethal's going to handle that with ease. And the Larry Ballers get out of a condition that was looking rough. Sir James pitched his way out of it. Top of the lineup here for the Larry Ballers. Rosh Yamagans. Oh, goes after him twice. Urgh, he's already locked in. Brings up Ballas. I should have put him a little farther down the lineup. Right down the pipe. Hit straight to Gigantosaurus. Oh, 
Uh. All right. All right. Let's do this. Big swing and a miss there. Fooled him, but he'll get contact on it. SKS running out the field this one. One out. Uh-oh, that one's popped. Boxic is trying to make the catch on it, and he will. Two outs. Mike Botham. That's a terrible pitch. Got him with a slider. <clears throat> Lethal D Feline leads him off this inning, batting 400, three RBIs, five ribbies on the season. Oh my God, that should have been down the line. Ah! All right, we gotta work this pitcher a little. That, was, that one was coming with some ferocity. That one's hit back up the middle. Slide by the shortstop. <laughs> We're so slow. Oh, my gosh. Aaron Boxicus comes up. He'll hit that one down the line, but it just goes foul. know what to say about that one. Ball physics. Got the pitcher on a 97 mile per hour fastball. Now we come back around and we do it all over again. Shining night. Uh oh, Ballas oops that one. Tosses over to Lethal. Two away in the top of the third. Theodoro butts. Oh, he crushes that one. But Stolen Novamans is there to take care of it. We've got Pete, Azure Alliance, and Sir James do up this inning. Pete got a hold of that one. It's got a chance. It's going to be off the wall, but that's going to be extra bases for Pete. He'll stand up in the second. Nicely done to lead off the bottom of the third. That brings up Azure Alliance. That one's a ground ball to the right side of the field. That will move Pete over to third. One out, runner on third. Up to the pitcher, Sir James. He's a decent hitter. Let's see what he can do here. That's a bouncer. Is Pete going to beat it? Pete slides in. Sir James helping his cause by knocking in Pete, hitting it down the third baseline. Well done. We circle around the why so slow. Should have just let him run. Oh! That one's hit down the line. Is he going to outbeat him? No, but it, uh, once again, the ballers move a runner over to third. If Ballas can get a base hit here. It drops. Ballas delivers! He knocks in the RBI and the ballers go up 2-0 on the cockatoos. Now batting number 22, the short. Oh, 
was, I so wanted that one. That's going to be an out. SKS, a little dribbler. Ground out the first. But the ballers put two on the board, and we go to the fourth. The cockatoos playing from behind. Ballas, who just knocked an RBI, scoops it up, throws the first. Lethal Feline handles it with ease. One away. Yeah, Joe, that can happen. Oh, that one went through Sir James. That's a base hit the center. So the Cockatoos trying to get some runs going here. Jerome Gigantosaurus steps up. Wild swing there, my lord. That would smoke. Ballas handles it. Flicks over to SKS. Goes to first. Double play. That retires the side. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Lethal D feline leading them off. Lethal smokes that one, but the right fielder's on pursuit and makes the catch. That one. Lethal has so much bat speed, it seems like. Ooh, that was. And that's going to be a base hit into the gap if it gets through the outfielders. Turns for second, maybe greedy. This is going to be close. In there with a double. Sliding in there. And that brings up Aaron Boxicus. A base hit here could score a run. I didn't mean the swing. It makes me so mad how the power swinging works. It's so touchy. Captain Pete here with a chance to knock in a run. Pops it up, and that will end the inning. Those low pitches, they're so 50-50 on either a home run or a pop-up. Flip Cruz comes up. He's 0 for 1 for the day, 235 on the season. That's a grounder. Boxigus is going to scoop that up. Throw the first, one out. Ballers holding on to their two-run lead. Russell Hugh comes up to bat. And that's going to be a ground ball hit into center field. And that puts one on for the Cockatoos. Mike Botham, 0 for 1 on the day. Oh, Lethal almost got to that one. And that's another base hit to center field. The cockatoos threatening here. And that brings up the pitcher. Number 20, the pitcher. Out of dog. Struck him out. Sir James trying to salvage this. That's a ground ball. This is going to be a tough play. And Sir James picks it up himself and makes the throw. And the Larry Ballers get out of trouble once again. We head to the bottom of the lineup for the Ballers. Oh, that was smoked. Let's see. They'll throw him out because we're just the biggest, fattest players in the league. Sir James up the bat pops that one up now batting. we're back around and that to bring up why so slow who's a little tense that's ground ball first baseman handles it Roman flow over to Yamagans and now we'll in the inning we go to the six Well, no, most people put like 98, 100 for speed. Lethal catches the ball, one out. Roman Flell settles in. Oh, 
Oh, and he gets by Boas. That's a base hit. And that brings up Jackson McMaster. He's two for two today. He's locked in. And this could be a double play ball. Nope. Too fast. They get the lead runner, though. Two outs. But Gigantosaurus lurks in the bushes here. And that's smashed. That is a foul ball. Come on. Got him on the changeup. <sighs> Go to the bottom of the sixth. Yamagan's trying to salvage this. Here comes Ballas. He's one for two today. Fouls that one back out of play. Ooh, good swing there. That one's hit. That's straight to Butts. He'll make the throw one away. Now batting number 22, the shortstop. SKS, he's 0 for 2 in a day. Having a struggle. That one's straight back at the pitcher. He's going to be 0 and 3. Oh, my God. Lethal feline. They've, they've silenced our bats. Pitching around lethal so far. Lethal tries to squeak that through. That was a good swing, but that ball had nothing coming off the bat. Here I was bragging about his freaking bat speed earlier, and then that happened. Got him swinging. Sir James still throwing the heat. Russell Hugh. Fooled on that one. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's probably going to be a triple. A costly mistake by the right fielder there. And they're bringing in Vito Real, the pinch run there. They're going to try to get him home. Struck him out. Come on, let's go, boys. Now batting number 20, the pitcher. Oh, they're bringing in another pinch hitter here. He was full. He pops it up. Azura Alliance settles underneath it. And that should once again end the threat. Sir James taking care of business. And they're going to bring in Becky Angelus as the reliever. She is juiced. How do you get juiced? Now batting number 21. Nova Man steps in. Oh, straight down the pipe. He's a little under it. Smoked, but straight to the first baseman. Roman Flell will take care of it. No, that was fitness. That wasn't their mojo seven. Aaron Boxicus settles in. Now it's popped up, and it's going to go out of play. One and two count, though, here. That one's hit up the middle. Angelus takes care of it, stares him down, and throws him out. That brings up Pete. He had a nice double earlier. Pete will pop that one up. I pushed up and to the right, but it decided I didn't. Top of the lineup here for the Cockatoos. So if we're going to win this game, we got to go through their best. The bullpen is running. Joe Eldwood is in. Ready to come in relief if things get awry. Uh-oh, that one's hit. Boxicus scoops it up. One away. Oh, 
Oh, what a snag by Boxicus. Two outs. That one's hit. That's foul. That killed a kid. I shouldn't have said that. That was awful. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> Oh, got him on the changeup. I, I don't know why. Oh. Now battle number 26, the catcher. Is there alliance comes in? He's over two in a day. Big swing there. Come on. Hit, but straight to the second baseman. How many times have I said that today? All right, Southpaw, we're going to take him out. Let's put zeros in the pinch hit. Why on earth did I swing? Oh, my God. <clears throat> I have a bad habit of I hold down the stupid power button and I let off because I, I'm used to doing that motion when I when I do the regular swing I lift my finger but when you get a power swing you hold it down and then when I lift off I swing I know but it makes me mad all right let's bring in Cayman to try to get the save oh my god Cayman what is going on with you Oh, a double on the first pitch. Jerome Gigantosaurus comes in. Be cool, brother. Be cool. Got him. Strikeout number one. Let's go. Come on, Kanan. Flip Cruz, he's 0 for 3 today. That's popped up. Oh god, lethal. What? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Get him, yes! Two outs, come on. Right back to Cayman. The Larry Ballers upset the Cockatoos. And somehow tonight, bring their record for the last six games to three and three. The Cockatoos had eight hits, but the Larry Ballers scored two on three hits. South Paul gets his second win of the year. Cayman picks up his fourth save. Sir James was your player of the game. Eight innings pitch, six hits, a walk, nine Ks. It was a shutout, a dual pitcher effort for that. Let's see how this shakes up the standings in the league. Cockatoos dropped down to the second place. We need to check the standings and see what the playoffs would look like. I know we're only like 12, 13 games in, or 10 games into the season, but it's like, I want to see. Oh man, there wasn't that many games. Uh, so Crocodons now have the, the Crocodons and the Wardens now have the best record in the league. Oh my God, we have the seven and three streamliners when we come back. J2 will be on the mound with his 208 ERA, one and zero record versus Billy Nickerson, one and one with a 4.9 ERA. So if the standing, if the wild card or the playoff 